Okay, now this is everything you're going to need to fix a cracked bathtub. So first you'll need your fiberglass resin. That's what's going to turn hard and seal it up. The fiberglass cloth will add strength. The hardener will turn the resin into a solid. You need scissors to cut the cloth. Sandpaper to prep the area. Now this is 80 grit sandpaper. And a bowl to mix the resin in. Now you pretty much just want to get you a disposable bowl because you're not going to be able to use that bowl anymore once you put the resin and stuff in it. Or it'll be a pain in the butt to try and clean all that out. I don't even know if it's possible. So, here's the crack right here. And it leaks water and it's leaking out under my house. So, I wanted to go ahead and make this stronger than it was and seal the water leak up. So that way, we won't ever have this problem again. First step is to prep the area. All you do is sand off really well until there's no contaminants, no rough spots, and you want to get any kind of coating or stuff off that could chip or flake and eventually wear out due to wear and tear. You want it to be a fiberglass on fiberglass contact or a metal on fiberglass contact. Something strong that's going to hold for a long time. Alright, so the next step is to simply just place a piece of fiberglass over the hole like so and then trace the diameter of the hole so that way you can cut that part out and then you'll get a nice even surface all right now with that cut out we'll place it back over the area like so and then we'll just kind of mold it around the drain hole so as we get a nice tight fit. Now the reason I'm going the whole drain hole is because it actually cracked on the edge of the drain hole so I want to support the drain hole like so. And then once we add the resin it'll hold down the cloth. So. Alright so now you're going to pour in one fourth of this whole bottle into this here and then you need to mix in the hardener and one fourth of this this is actually broke down into three increments. It comes with the other fourth right here. So you'd mix in one fourth. So basically we could just take this little one and mix that in and that'd be all you need. And then we'll apply it over the fiberglass area. Now that you have all your ingredients mixed into your stirring bowl, take your stirring stick and mix the fiberglass resin and the fiberglass hardener in order to create a consistent, even solution. That'll give you the best compound you can possibly create. Then apply fair amounts over the fiberglass area. Spread it out and add more as needed. The fiberglass resin should look like the consistency of maple syrup. But don't eat it unless you want to walk around like the Tin Man on Wizard of Oz. Okay, for this next step, you probably want to go ahead and put some gloves on. Unless you have acetone, which will take off all the fiberglass resin afterwards. Sometimes a paintbrush would work better than this popsicle stick. But this is what I had, so just consider if you use a paintbrush, you're probably going to ruin the paintbrush. So make sure it's something that you're not planning on reusing. Just evenly smooth out the surface of the resin in order to create a good seal all the way across the entire damaged area and to seal in the entire piece of fiberglass that you're going to use to reinforce the cracked area. The fiberglass will harden in just a matter of about 10 minutes. It takes about a full day for it to fully cure. And then after a full day, you're good to sand it down and then start smoothing it over and you can paint the surface area. Thanks for watching this video. Press that subscribe button. I do other great DIYs at home projects to save you money out here on the homestead and other great tree videos and animal wildlife videos. So definitely press that subscribe button. Every like really does help. God bless.